Hello, hello, hello. It's Melina Dixon. I'm going to show you how to create a Google form for your Pink Zebra business. So I, I use these a lot of different ways, but probably the, the most common way that I'm using them is as a sample request form. So I'm actually going to pull that up for you so that you can see what it looks like. And then I'll show you how to make your own. And so on my sample request form, I request their first and last name, their address, their cell phone number. Um, so I can text them tracking info because the way I send my samples, they're first class, but they come with tracking. So I like to share that with people so that they can stock their, uh, their tracking info <laughs> and know when their samples are coming. I have a question about have they tried Pink Zebra before? with the radio buttons so they can choose one answer. Then I've got check boxes for the next question. How do you currently fragrance your home? What type of scents do you like? I don't tell them what scents I have. I ask what scents they like. And then I send the samples based on what I do have on hand. Um, I've had people reach out to me for samples and give me this long list of very specific scents they wanna try. And that's just not how I work my business. I have, you know, I don't have every single cent on hand. Um, I don't expect anyone to have every single cent on hand, but I have at least one fruity, one floral, one clean, and so on and so forth. And so if someone says, I like clean and fruity, then I will send them a sample from what I have. And then this last question is just to ask them their decor style. And it's just something to help me get to know them a little bit better. And they say, oh, I really like beach and nautical. Then I can, you know, make maybe product recommendations for them, or I can showcase those types of products in the party if like a lot of the people like that partic particular style. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna click blank. And you can customize the color. You can do, I mean, the tons of different color options. Um, that's not super important unless you just want something that kind of matches your branding. So for untitled form, I would put, I'm going to put test here because this is not the actual one, but I would put pink zebra sample request. And then you can put a description if you want. So fill this out receive smell mail okay so then for the here's what's really cool about google forms based on the question you type it kind of knows how the question should be formatted so if i say name then it knows that this is a short answer request so for anything that you want to have like that they have to answer like name address those are kind of vital you can toggle this required switch. And so when the person sees the form, there's going to be an asterisk, a red asterisk, so they know that it's required. Then if you want to add an additional question, you just click this plus sign. And, oops, home address. And I don't know why, but I feel like I have to call this out because people will literally just give me the house number and the street name. And I'm like, uh, where's the rest of the address? People are funny. And that one would also be required. And then I'll click the plus sign again. And I'm asking for cell phone. You could ask for um, their email. I mean, it's really your preference. Um, I think it's a good it's a good idea to be able to contact them outside of the party. So the cell phone's really great because I can just text them like, hey, your samples are on the way. I could even text them a picture of me holding their mail, you know, like whatever I want to do. But then that gets us talking outside of the party. And I think that that's really important, especially when it comes to building relationships. So that would be required. Have you tried Pink Zebra? So you see, I'm asking a question, and so it's going to let me, you know, I could technically do yes, no, maybe. It would add all of those for me, but I want to create my own. So I'm just going to say, I currently 
I'm just going to abbreviate because I'm because this is I'm just trying to keep it simple, short, sweet, simple for y'all. So then I want to add another option. And I would make this one required as well. I make most of mine required. All right, plus sign. So I think you guys get the gist here, but I will show you really quick while we're while we're here, the different types of um, questions. So there's short answer, that's like the name. For address, it defaulted to paragraph. There's multiple choice check boxes. There is a drop down. There's a linear scale. I've never done the file upload, so I just like skipped over that. The linear, linear scale would be like, on a scale of one to 10, what's your interest in getting some friends together online to, or, you know, to share Pink Zebra with them, like hosting, uh, or on a scale of one to 10, what's your interest in learning more about life as a Pink Zebra consultant? I've never done the multiple choice grid. Let's see what that looks like. Just because I'm, oh, that's fun. Never done it before. Um, checkbox grid. Huh. That looks nifty too. I'll have to play around with that. I don't know what the point of date and time is. Oh, maybe if you wanted to ask them their birthday. That makes sense. Okay, so that's my test um, pink zebra sample request form in a nutshell to give you guys an idea of how to create your own. Now, once you're done, because people are like, okay, now what's next? You're gonna click this send button. You don't have to send this out via email. Click this uh, this hyperlink, and you're going to get this really long link that's just ugly. So check the shorten URL box, and you get it in a nicer little version. You can copy that, and now you're ready to go and paste it and share it with people. And this, why I started doing this, was really just to help me be more organized with my sample request because. When I was doing my Facebook parties, I would just have people message me with their address. So there was a question in the party, what types of scents do you like? People would comment on those and I'd say, great, send me a, me send me a message with your address and I'll send you samples. So then I've got to go to the party for their scent preference. I got to go to Messenger for the address and that was just not working for me. Um, I'm very busy, <laughs> as, as many of you know, I'm very busy and I need systems that help me work smarter and not harder. And so that is why I went to the Google form. Um, it's, it's just super simple. And here's the cool thing. I'm actually going to go to one of mine so you guys can see. I'll just go back to my sample request form. You can see here I have 27 responses. And these are just from past parties. What I can do is go to responses. And you see this little green green uh, box with a, I don't even know what to call it. It's not a cross, but it's something. Um, view responses in sheets. If you click that, it's going to export all of this information to a Google sheet. And actually I'll, um, let me see if I can show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you've exported your Google form responses into a Google Sheet. I did block out all of the personal information just so I'm protecting people's privacy. But you'll see it brought in all the different questions that I asked in the form. And you can see all of, um, all of the responses and it's got it all here in just one single document. So I don't have to go back and forth between the party and messenger to, to gather all that information. It's, it's all here. This is why I love my Google form so, so much. It's helping keep me really organized with sample requests. And then once someone new fills out the form, yeah, I have it set up to get an email, but Google forms is going to automatically put that information at the bottom of the list. So just because I get an email that says someone filled out my form, I don't then have to go to my Google form and go through all the different responses. I can just come here to this Google sheet and see the additional information that's been added. It's, it's so cool. When I learned this, I was like, game changer, game changer. 
So I hope this video was super helpful. I, tr I try to make things as simple and easy to understand as possible. And I know some of the technology things in our business can get, it gets a little crazy. And if you've never done it before, maybe you're apprehensive to give it a try. But Google Forms, Google Sheets, very user friendly. And I'm confident that this video will be helpful to you. Should you have any other questions though, feel free to post them below and I will be happy to answer them for you. Thanks so much and have a great day.